in this video I am going to explain how to calculate uplift in uh, dike stability calculation in our previous video I have calculated uh, contour lines mesh and discharges in this video we are going to uh, further steps the next step is uplift how to calculate uplift in that dike first of all we have to use uplift program so the uplift program I have uh, already downloaded here so uplift GGU uplift so the program is getting opened so here you have something file new okay so once you have click the new button then you have new data set so this is all okay just click pr press okay and now you have a, an empty system in this system we have to check whether our dike is going to uplift or not how we can do that so you need to go to edit analyze options sorry uh, it's called analyze options yeah analyze options you have to check it needs to be in the middle this one you need to click this button mark this one mark this one and this one this has to be three okay okay then you need to go to top of the system so the top of the system now we need to know what is the top of our system so the top of system top of our system is is here if you just click on that at this level so this is 31.5 from here to there is 1.5 uh, 1.5 meter high and from here to the bottom of this yellow line is all 30 so all together from bottom to the top is 31.5 and the loam is 1.5 meter high with the trench as you can see there so at this point this is the top of our system so I will take the value or height of this point which is 30 as you can see that so from here to there is 1.5 31.5 if you take 31.5 out of 30 you will uh, left with 1.5 so the top of system would be 30 so you need to click uh, you need to uh, type 13 in this box okay then okay again okay so now you have done top of your system now system parameters okay so system parameters you need to make sure the standards standard has to be partial safety factor concept info EC7 and then the top of system is 30 which we already have typed in now we have to find out ground water top of system so how we can get this value so if you go back to your mesh line so you need to go to margins sorry evaluations evaluation click on individual values left click on the node just as you can see that it is telling you to click uh, left click on the nodes okay so now we have to click on here so here you can see is a potential 35.6 is here you need you need this value and the value which you need to put at the top of of your system ground water top of the system so ground water top of the system is here 31.5 31.5 so I will put in here 31.5 0 let's say 50 and ground water base of the system how much this one would be so this is basically a potential is asking you to put a potential so the potential I, I have said if you just go on evaluation individual value so click on this node only 
so you get potential 35.63 so 35.63 okay so these are the values which you need to add in this box 30 is top of system groundwater top of system 31.5 as I have pointed it out and groundwater base of system is 35.6 so which I have explained where to get this number basically click OK so okay you have this this value now go on there we have put top of system system parameter now it's soil okay so soil basically you have to change it to loom why loom because we are working at this area for example so this is all loam so that's why you need to put loam in there now obviously we already have clicked on node and we have this results so y value you need y value from here which is 28.94 okay so you need to put here 28.94 and the second one so this is going to be 21 and this is going to be 12 always and then you need to then and drill that just click ok this is your system which has been created now now you have to analyze it sorry this is a system which has been created Twenty-one in here and twelve in this box, and this is uh, these value will remain the same. One point double zero e to power e to power minus seven. Click OK. So you have this system. Now analyze it. Click OK. So here you have analyzed your system. This is something which you have checked whether our dike is going to be uplifted or not so these are the values which are important to know so utilization factor is 1.39 depth is 28.94 so it means that the weight of our dike is this much depth is 28.4 which we calculated which we got it from that clicking on nodes and this is utilization factor so this is a utilization factor which can be explained maybe in your further project or something okay so these are the values this is basically soil properties loam soil properties k values this is gamma dot and gamma okay if you have loam for the loam this is loam property basically 12 12 and 21 and here these are our standard partial safety factor gamma g comma dst 1.05 gamma g dot stb 0 0.950 gamma h is equal to 1.450 that's how you calculate your uplift and if you want to change some colors you can do it here uh, by clicking on this point so soil properties legends okay if you want to change background color you can change it okay so as you can see this is background color Okay, if you wanna go mazid further, automatic color with the depth, click on both, you will see that as you can see that this is like just a different way of representing your uplift. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.